Well, good morning. Happy Monday, everybody. Hope all is well with you today. Welcome back to our Better Me series. We are in the season of giving thanks for all of our blessings and favors from God and for the people who He has placed in our lives, etc. Hopefully, which we should do daily. Amen. Which, with that being said, uh, let me move on. I uh, recently had posted something on Facebook, a video of my great-grandson walking at such a young age. And I was at all. These babies are moving so fast, which led me to my thoughts to ponder today. And it's concerning me, and should be to all of us, who are parents, grandparents, guardians, great-grandparents. The children are our future. And I will read from Proverbs 22 and 6, which says, Train up a child in a way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. I was reading an article recently from a website uh, called Christ and Common Sense, and this article featured Tim Dixon, and uh, he said, he was talking about really understanding what this Proverbs really mean, and he said, uh, in its original context, it reveals that it is a warning to parents that if they allow their children to have their own way, they will not depart from that foolishness when they are older. Hmm. Proverbs 2 and 6 should not be understood as a promise that Christian children will make a good decision their entire life? No. It should be understood as a warning. If parents don't discipline their children in a wise way, then their kids are going to make foolish choices and continue to do so when they grow up. The discerning parents is always of this and carefully considering how to guide the child to become self-aware and self-controlled. To, to that, he will learn to make wise decisions in his youth and continue to do so the rest of his life. Well, that's common sense. I got that. But I was disappointed that he didn't really go into the importance of having Christ in their lives. Truthfully, the process of training up a child must also include educating them in the Word of God. So when they come to the age of accountability, they may know and make the right decision. They need to know that without accepting the Lord Jesus into their lives to lead and guide them, they are subject to be led astray. And that's a decision that they have to make. I remember, and y'all may remember too, when I was in elementary school, that every child was given a Bible and was required to learn the Lord's Prayer, the 
23rd Psalms, John 3.16. But you know, nowadays, it is not permitted in our institution of learning. And that was one of the major ball drops in training up a child that should not, but that should not hinder the responsibility of the parent. When I look at these beautiful, precious babies that are being born into this world now, and I wonder, where will they end up? And I pray that they, that the parents of these babies and children will do what is required in order that their children aren't caught up in what has been predicted. There will be a generation that will be lost. The word of God is true. Whether you believe it or not, if you hadn't read it, it is in Revelation. It is a prediction that I believe we are now living in today. And it is concerning to me that this is not, we are not entering into the, that lost generation. As I look at our young people being targeted today. It, it, it saddens me and parents, we gotta take hold of our babies and children right now that they may not be a victim of this lost generation that is was predicted. With that being said today, my prayer today is that God will continue to bless you and render every need according to his will. I love you all. You all be safe out there. And until next time, if God permits, I will see you. God bless.